What's up guys, JV2017 here with the third part of my complete King's Fall raid guide. And today I'm going to show you how to open the door right after the ship jumping puzzle, which is basically the third part of the raid. And the main objective here is to prove your worthiness to the war priest, which just so happens to be the first boss in the King's Fall. So the way you prove your worthiness is by doing a complicated timing puzzle that opens a giant rune door that actually physically gets you to that first boss. And this is the first activity that truly requires team coordination and communication. So I suggest that you make sure and bring along some competent people, some guardians that really know what they're doing. So let's get started. First and foremost, let's hammer down the objective. What are we doing here? Well, our goal is to open that giant rune door when, that you see when you come into this area first by standing on the middle plate with a buff called Death Singer's Power. Now, that's easier said than done, right? Along the way, you'll be juggling a bunch of debuffs and managing mob control, but that's generally the objective. That's what you gotta do. And there's no boss. There's no one enemy to kill in this portion of the raid. Simply, you gotta open this giant door. Now before you attempt this, go ahead and split into groups, into two teams of three. So that's three guardians on the left side and three guardians on the right side. And also within those teams, those little groups, determine an order. You're gonna have a first guardian, a second guardian, and a third guardian. This is important when I'm discussing roles and the exact order and rotation in which you need to uh, go about this activity. All right, so now that you're in groups, let's cover mechanics. Very simply, this is how this activity works. Each side, left and right, has an aura, and the auras carry a brand, and the brands, once they've run their course and gone down their 30-second timer, the brand will grant Death Singer's power, and like I said, the power is what allows you to open the door. And so, let's go through that a little more in detail. The auras are called Aura of the Unraveling and of Weaving, so I don't think those really have anything to do with this encounter whatsoever, but that's what the name of the auras are, and you pick up the aura by running over this kind, it's kind of like a platform a little bit, but that's where the aura will appear. If you have an emergency situation and no one has the brand or something you messed up, that is where it will reappear, the aura will reappear there. So the aura carries a brand, like I said. So. If you are the one who picked up the aura, you have the brand. So it's kind of like picking up the brand. I'm just using these interchangeably here. So once you have the aura, you have the brand. And the brand will have a 30 second timer. It'll go from 30 to zero. You'll be able to see it on the left side of your screen in order to keep track of it. And what you have to do with this brand is transfer it to a guardian next to you. So. Uh, I'm going to explain the rotation exactly how this works, but just keep in mind that you'll need a guardian next to you to transfer the brand to or else this brand will go away and you'll have to go pick it up like I just mentioned. And so once that brand reaches zero, you gain Death Singer's power, which of course you'll use on the middle platform. So those are the mechanics of this encounter. There's also some Annihilator totems that you have to stand on. Of course, you guys remember Annihilator totems from some previous raids, uh, we had those in the past. You just have to make sure that someone's standing on it at all times. And that's really why we divide onto the left and right side. So keep that in mind as well. And that really rounds out exactly what the mechanics of this uh, encounter are. So let's get into the rotation of what you're actually gonna be doing. Here is the rotation, just to clarify. You grab the aura, you transfer the brand, you use the power, and then you return to where you were before, and then you repeat. This is a cycle that's gonna be done by every single guardian. So every guardian needs to know what to do in this encounter. So let's go through them one by one. And I'm gonna use the order that we established earlier. So that's why I said it's important to divide your groups into your first guardian, your second guardian, and your third guardian. So here we go. First up, grab the aura, the first guardian their job is to grab the aura, run over that little platform, and that will give them the brand. And so you'll get this aura as the first guardian and then run over and stand on the annihilator totem. And the second guardian comes with the first guardian 
and stands in that area because of course they're going to be receiving the brand here in a second once that 30 second timer goes out but the second guardian is supposed to clear the mobs in that area with the first guardian of course and the third guardian while all of this is happening you pretty much just need to stay near the middle and clear mobs uh, as the third guardian you need to be doing other stuff later getting into the rotation but the first rotation isn't as important because normally you would be in the middle using your power, but you don't have the power yet. So don't really worry. Just clear mobs as the third guardian on this first step. Next up, transfer the brand. So the second guardian, as I mentioned, is supposed to stay with the first guardian inside of their aura bubble. You have to stay inside of it in order to correctly receive the brand and transfer it over. And that'll transfer over when the timer hits zero. So you just need to make sure as the second guardian to stick to that first guardian like glue just make sure you're as close as possible when the brand is uh you know really at all times but i would say especially when the brand is approaching zero you can even incorporate a little bit of call outs in there just to make sure with your uh, teammates that you're doing the right thing um, but just make sure you transfer that brand successfully or you'll have to go and grab it again and that's just really a major pain so once that second you know guardian gets the brand that's when the third guardian should come from the middle or wherever they were uh, and start uh, you know, staying with that second guardian because then it's the third guardian's turn to receive the brand. So I hope I'm not making this too complicated. It's actually pretty simple. So once that brand has been transferred to the second guardian, the first guardian runs to the middle and stands on the plate to use the power. That first guardian, after that brand has been transferred, they will have Death Singer's Power, which is a buff in the bottom left, and you want to use that. You'll have 10 stacks of it. You'll want to run to the middle and stand on that middle plate to use your power. And there will be a lot of mobs ha hanging around, you know, some wizards you'll have to deal with. And so uh, Defender Titan might be a good idea. Uh, at least one or two of those uh, on either side actually would probably be a great idea. But that's what you want to do. Once you see the Death Singer's power, you want to go to the middle, stay on the middle plate, and use that stuff because that will power up the door in order for you to open it. And kind of following the theme of uh, the first Guardian that we're talking about, once you're done with the Death Singer's power and the stacks are down to zero, you want to return all the way to the right side or whatever side you're on. Maybe it's the left. You want to st stick to the same side, guys. Don't cross over. You don't need to do that. Stay on your respective side. So once your Death Singer's power stacks have hit zero, go back onto the Annihilator Totem and prepare to receive the brand. So I've pretty much laid out the exact steps here. Once again, what you have to do is grab the aura, transfer the brand, and then use the power, and then return to the totem. And that will just cycle through. You guys will probably understand this more if you're actually doing it, but it's a very easy process. And as long as everyone knows what they're doing, uh, you'll be able to get this done. You'll have to repeat it eight to 10 times until the runes on the door, which you'll see if you're in the middle, they light up as you are able to bring the power and use it on the middle platform. They light up and as they get to the top and then once they're filled up, you will prove to the war priest that you are worthy to kill him, which hopefully you will do next. So that's what you got to do, guys. It's just a rinse and repeat process. It'll take a little bit of practice, but I know you guys will be able to do it. Here are some little side notes that I thought of while I was doing this encounter. First off, the mobs that you'll be encountering are constant acolytes. They're spawning all the time, as well as thralls. You'll have to deal with all of those. Wizards will spawn in the middle, so watch out for those when you are using your power on that middle plate. Night boomers are on like a 30 second timer, it feels like, and they spawn on the walkways on either side. So bring a good sniper. Uh, if you have the black spindle, that's a great sniper. That'll just one shot headshot those guys. So uh, bring a good sniper. In terms of subclasses, like I said, Defender Titans are nice for their bubbles. Just some extra protection so you don't wipe. And also Sunsinger Warlocks are nice if someone dies. And, you know, that's just sloppy stuff. If they can just revive themselves, uh, that's really helpful as well. So if your group is able to do this, you'll get some Moldering Shards and a shot at a new Ghost Shell that is potentially between 300 and 310, which is a huge help. I was lucky enough to get a maximum 310 uh, Kingslayer shell, so good luck to you guys. I hope you guys learned something new today, and if you did, remember to hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for continued Taken King content. Talk to you guys next time. Peace.